As a further aside, have you ever wondered yet why I insist on pronouncing the word iodine the way that chemists do instead of saying iodine like everyone else? Here's a hunch for you, a little stretch of the imagination, but consider this. What if our meat industry and dairy industry acting as a special interest group wanted to boost sales of their products back around the early years of the 1900s while a newly formed American medical establishment backed by wealthy donors all wanting to denounce natural healers as being a bunch of quacks practicing medicine without a license for their promotion of the use of natural and nutritional substances for overall health and well-being. It's quite possible that Lugol's iodine is the original snake oil, so-called, sold by natural healers way back when the newly formed medical establishment and pharmaceutical industry was doing everything it could to brand Lugol's as a quack remedy. The only reason why Lugol's iodine could have been so basic to the natural healer's itinerary of healing ointments, lotions, and potions is because iodine has consistently been a least understood nutrient and pervasively deficient in our diets. If starvation was a common occurrence, don't you think that food would become a so-called miracle cure for whatever seemingly ails us? or water for that matter, if we were all dehydrated all the time. By the way, Lugol's iodine is now illegal to sell in this country at its full strength of 5% iodine plus 10% p potassium iodide unless you get it on the internet manufactured outside this country from a foreign country. Go figure.